Excellent. Hey, thanks for tuning in to the Rexer Show. Today we're going to take a look at customizing our Restream chat that is embedded into your stream. Now when you're streaming, you may notice chat come through and you may look at the chat and say, ah, it doesn't look that good on my stream or over the top of my background. So right here you can see I have a white colored text coming through on this green field, which isn't that bad, but you just can't see it all that great. Well, I'm going to show you how to change the color of that text, the color of the sender right there, and as well maybe add a stroke to this chat right here. Now, for those of you who use screen capture, display capture, and you just leave your window right on top of everything right here, you leave your restream chat box or whatever, and you can just mess around with your you know, opacity settings or whatever uh, settings that might make it look uh, a little better for the chat. Uh, you don't have to worry about that. You got a nice dark background of your chat, so any color looks good on it. But you may want to keep the transparent and, and let the background show through and only see that chat when it's coming through. Uh, but you may want to change the color. So how do you do that? Well, if you're familiar with cascading style script or, or HTML for that matter, uh, you can probably just open up your chat restream box here, your source, and you can add it into the bottom here. And you can see I have one line of uh, custom script here. I actually don't even remember what this is or what that does. Um, but what I'm going to add in here is the sender color, the text color, and a stroke over the text color to make it more legible or readable um, when people are looking at it on your stream. So if you're knowledgeable on CSS, uh, you just pop it right in here and it'll take change on your embedded stream chat. For the rest of us, we're going to have to do this. We're going to open up a browser window and we're going to go to restream.io and in here you'll notice the chat window down at the bottom right here. You can always open that up and they will help you. Uh, a online person comes in and, and will assist you with any options or changes or questions you have. They can only get me halfway there. They sent me a link with CSS information. Uh, it was somewhat helpful, but I had to go to the OBS Discord. And if you're not familiar with that uh, Discord channel, make sure you get it if you use OBS. They're really helpful there. But I opened this and talked to them. I mean, this is a free service and they're offering free help. So what a, you know, what a great tool that they offer. What we're gonna do, we're gonna go over to chat here. We're gonna open in browser. And then down here, we're gonna go to settings, embed in stream. And you can see how the chat's coming through right now. That's the settings right there. Now you can see all your normal settings here, your, uh, your font setting, your theme, uh, your opacity like we went over, scale and all, but you don't see a color setting here. So how you're going to change the color of the text is you're going to hit this launch right here and you're going to get a new window open that kind of previews what the script is doing right here. Then in this window when you're on it, you're going to hit F12 and it's going to launch your script window. This has all your CSS in here that shows what Restream is doing and how it's taking that those instructions and putting it into a chat customization. Now what we're looking for here specifically to change the color is message dash text. Now you may ask, well, how do I know that? Well, uh, basically asking people and Googling, we're going to hit control F here. We're going to type in message dash text. And here's the script right here where the instructions are. And here's all the stuff that's going to detail what our script, what our chat is going to look like. And right at the top here, you can see the message dash text. That's what we were looking for. We have a font size and a display. No definitive color setting though within this box right here. And that's what we're going to add. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the color down here in the message dash item. And the message dash item is all your tag your sender and your text. So we could detail this and it, and it would be one color completely if we did that. But we don't want that. We want our sender to be a different color and we want our text to be a different color. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste it into here. Control V there to make it easier. It's kind of hard to right click and paste in there. And then I'm going to change the color here simply by clicking on the box. I'm going to do a yellow color here just for now to make it easy. I'm going to hit enter. And then what you'll see over here is if I now test over here in this preview pane window, you should see yellow come up. There it is just for the text and you can barely see my name in this. But now that we've seen that our color is yellow, uh, we look over here in OBS in our window here 
but when we test it there, it's still not coming up. So we know it's going to work over here in the preview, but when I bring that up, now you can see it's still not turning yellow over here. That's because we haven't changed our CSS box. So we're going to go, we're going to open up our CSS box right here. I'm going to go back to my CSS here and I'm going to grab all this right here and I'm going to copy. I'm going to make sure I grab this end parentheses here and bracketed parentheses and, uh, I'm gonna copy, I'm gonna paste it right here. I don't need the rest, I don't need the font size in the display. Um, that's dictated already. I just want the color and I hit okay. Now I'm gonna open up my window and you can see it already changed. I don't even have to test it with my Restream chat box, but I can go over here and I can hit test the color you see it comes up on Twitch and then obviously YouTube slightly delayed here, um, but it'll come up on that as well. And we only changed the color to yellow. So that looks, now it doesn't look that great on this background, but you get the gist of what we're trying to do here. Now to change the sender color, we're going to open up our CSS box again, and we can just type in message dash sender, which we kind of know where that's going to be. And here it is right here at the top now, message.sender. There's no dictating color in there. So I'm just gonna grab the color from here. I'm gonna copy. And I'm gonna paste it into here. Oh, Control V because it's a little more difficult with the right click. And uh, it does say in certain uh, instructions online that you should add a exclamation point important in there. Now, as I showed you before, it didn't necessarily need to be done there, but this exclamation point important is supposed to take precedent any, over any conflicting arguments or script. Uh, and that's why I guess you put it in, but we didn't see it necessary when we did it. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to do like a red or something here. Just hit enter. And then I'm going to grab the message from the dot message dot sender. I'm going to make sure I grab that end parentheses because these instructions are like, if this, then that. You need to make sure all the parentheses align uh, if you're familiar with those type of arguments. And we're going to go back to our restream chat box. I'm going to put it in here. I'm going to paste. Again, I don't need all these other instructions. I really only needed the color, so I'm going to take them out. They won't hurt, I don't believe, but no reason for them to be in here and muddy up this uh, section here. So let's just uh, leave it at that and see what we got here. So we click it back open and oh, there it is. Not the best color, but you can see it's a change of color there for the sender. So if I type in test the sender color, you can see that the sender color is different now. Now, you, you want to make this look better and a little more legible, a little more uh, pretty, so to speak. Let's uh, add a stroke to this message.test. If you're not familiar with a stroke, it's a slight outline of the text that makes it more uh, legible, makes it easier to read. Now, in order to add this stroke, I already have the script written that we're going to add. So let's just open that up. And here it is right here, the stroke script in this notepad file here. And you're just going to want to mirror this, what I wrote here, uh, which I got from actually somebody in OBS. Uh, if you're not part of the OBS Discord group and you use OBS, I strongly suggest you join it. They'll answer all your questions. It's a great resource for help. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to paste this into our custom CMS box here. And what this is basically saying here is message text. We're going to add a weighted two point line or outline or stroke to the text. And we're going to hit OK. And I won't even have to do anything. And you can see that there's a nice little dark stroke right here to the text, which looks really nice um, when you do it right. Now, this ain't the best color on top of or, or what, what we have here, but I can fiddle with that later. Uh, I just want you to get the gist of this video and what we're trying to do here. And hey, please subscribe if you want to see more videos, uh, tutorials, uh, Raspberry Pi, Arcade, 
uh, retro gaming, all that stuff. Subscribe to the channel, uh, get the notification, and when my videos come out, you'll get them. Hey, thanks for watching the Rexer Show. I appreciate it, and hope to see you on here again sometime. Thanks again.